Well, hello, this is Mike from Music City. Welcome to my latest installment of what I like to call Great Forgotten Records. Uh, and this one here, yeah, I did kind of forget about it. <laughs> Happy to have remembered it. I was going through some uh, duplicate records and uh, giving them out to some friends, and I came across a record from 1978 that I really loved back then. Uh, and it is the record... Uh, close personal friend by an artist known, uh, excuse me, an artist with the name Robert Johnson. Uh, very famous name in the music uh, annals. I think if you go to Discogs, he's Robert Johnson number 21. But uh, also the same name, of course, of the famous uh, bluesman Robert Johnson. But this uh, record came back out in 1978. It came out on Infinity Records. Um, you know, this was really uh, at the height of, of New Wave and, you know, and kind of remembering us how to remember how to rock again. And boy, this record really, really did rock. And look at uh, the picture on the back cover and you could just see that very retro look uh, to Robert. Uh, also, back then, like I always did, I found a nice promo copy with the time strip on it. I, I, I couldn't resist doing this back then. And if anything, it always gave me a good backup copy of the record. But um you know, Robert is kind of a, a little bit of a mysterious character. And I remember when this record came out, a friend of mine that I went to concerts with was so excited about it. Um, the, the song I'm going to play for you first in a few minutes, got a, it did get a lot of airplay on WNEW FM in New York, where I grew up. And man, he was just so excited. He says, man, I can't wait to see this guy. I'm sure he's going to play the bottom line or Max's or whatever. We're going to go to every single show. Well, we never heard from Robert. Robert never toured. Now, I think some of that might have to do with the fact uh, that Infinity Records, I, I don't think, really had a really good track record or survival rate. Um, may not have, may not have been, been, been around all that long. Um, so, you know, that could have something to do, but we never got to see Robert uh, play live. There's the uh, label on the Infinity. Um, and, um, you know, and it's kind of like doing this research for, uh, to try to learn about him. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to find stuff. Now, let me tell you some of the little tidbits I found about him. He is from Memphis. Uh, seems like he was a predominantly known as a session guitarist in, in Memphis. And uh, parts of this record were recorded at the famous Ardent Studios in Memphis, you know, where Big Star and, you know, all these other great people played. Um, you know, and, and definitely we could call this a power pop record, although, you know, it really is, uh, to me, very classic rock and roll oriented. Um, but some of the little tidbits about Robert are very curious that um, one of the things I learned from, from the back of a record I'm going to show you in a little bit here uh, was that uh, at age 18, he joined Isaac Hayes' band. I guess that was out of Memphis. Um, one of the other things that I saw that he played in uh, John Entwistle's Ox, you know, the bass player from the Who who had his band going on. And then this is the most remarkable thing was that he actually auditioned around this time to uh, replace uh, Mick Taylor and the Rolling Stones. You know, and that was the, the, the gig that, um, you know, Ronnie, Ronnie Wood eventually got. So, um, very, very kind of interesting there. And I remember one time I was down in Memphis just kind of tooling around and went to a record store with a friend who knew the owner of the record store. We talked about Robert. I, I don't know how it came up. And uh, he told me a few things about him that I, I certainly don't remember, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, let me just show you a few things. This was the lead-off single from the record, and I got I do have a 45 of it. It's called I'll Be Waiting. Uh, and I, I also managed to get a British copy of it. I, I think Robert was very well-loved in Britain. But, you know, still, I, I, I saw uh, there's a promo record out, Robert Johnson on tour. I, I don't know if we ever toured. I, and, and, and I'd appreciate it if people can tell me. And if you go to YouTube, there is a, a, a live video of him that was on the Old Grey Whistle Test in England. But it's not of a live performance. It's from a studio uh, that they had, uh, you know, on, on tape. Now, real quick after the, um, uh, let's play a song. All right, here, here is the, the main song that, the one that got airplay. I think this is just a fantastic song. It's still to date and it's called I'll Be Waiting. Let's give it a listen. <laughs>
Wow, <laughs> I remember hearing that song and just really uh, embarrassingly dancing uh, in my room as I listened to it. It was so great. It is still is so great. Uh, and what a guitar player, man! The guy is uh, definitely got got some chops on that guitar. Now, um, you know, at the time in '78, we didn't, have, of course, didn't have CDs. And in 2018, uh, it did come out on CD on um, something on a label called Burger Records. Uh, one nice little, you know, uh, cardboard case. Um, and then also, I found that in, 19, in 2018, another album came out. I mean, after the, that long, long gap, what is that, uh, 40 years? And <laughs> oddly enough, the title of it's called I'm Alive. <laughs> so, yes, Robert, you're still alive. And I never picked up on that record. I'm going to try to find one. It doesn't seem too easy to find. Uh, if you do want to find this close personal friend, uh, it, it seems like the vinyl is pretty easy to find. The CD kind of came and went. And also, you know, right after that record came out, uh, something came out called the Memphis Demos, uh, which came out on vinyl, 12 inch with about, I think about eight tracks. I never got it. I need to find one. Um, it's not easy to find, but this was a British single of two tracks from it. And apparently these were the demos that led to the close personal friend uh, record. But if, if you're looking for, for to, to, to check some of Robert out, uh, I think close personal friend, uh, I see a ton of them on uh, Discogs and, and eBay. Um, it's not on Spotify. Uh, what we heard here was from YouTube, and there's quite a few songs on, on YouTube, and somebody did say that it, it is on iTunes. Um, so let me, let me, let's, let's listen to another track here. Let's see what else is here on YouTube. Um, here we go uh, with, um, do, 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 what do I want to play? Let's listen to Debbie's theme. stuff. Uh, one more. Here's Leslie. I remember this one. Like that echoey guitar. So let's look today at uh, Close Personal Friend by Robert Johnson. And I know I got a lot of smart uh, viewers out there. So let me give, tell me some more about Robert that I don't know, this mysterious guy out of Memphis and who put out this great, great record in 1978. So, hey, thanks for listening. I told you how much I love doing great forgotten records. It's always fun to go back myself and remember these things and also to share them with you. So if you're a power popper or a rocker, you're going to love this record. Thanks for um, for following us along. Uh we're up to 956 subscribers. I'm hoping in the next week or two, we hit that magic thousand mark. Uh, so please, it doesn't cost you anything. Hit that subscribe button. If you like it, hit the like button. Share it with your friends and tell everybody 
that you heard about this great record from Music City, my close personal friend, Robert Johnson. Take care now.